Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 4 of What We Do in the Shadows, and this show just keeps it coming, keeps the laughs coming, and adding some emotional depth as well. And this particular season starts off with all of our characters coming back together. Laszlo has been, quote-unquote, taking care of the house while everybody's gone over the past year. Not really, it is a piece of crap, it's just a mess. And he's raising the young child that is birthed through the chest of Colin Robinson. And it is so ridiculous seeing Mark uh, Prockish's face on this little baby and this little child. And the, they have that dynamic. Um, Nandor has been going all across the country. Nadja went off and got some, like leadership training and decide to be, make some big moves back home, comes home and her and Lazla just start having sex on every couch in the house. Now this season does a lot of interesting things with the character. So Nandor tries to find a wife, he has a gin, winds up bringing his all of his wives and husbands back. Um, and he's trying to really figure out, like, he's lonely, he wants to have companionship, and there's just this tension between him and Guillermo, as always, but it feels like it's escalating here. There's a sense of they're trying to portray abusive relationship even more so, like, really digging deep into this dynamic between Guillermo and Nandor. And there's a moment where they get to fight. There's an episode in this season, The Night Market. They have a ton of fun with that episode. And they get to fight each other. You have Guillermo, who's... And also, one thing, Nandor, in the second to last episode, does some of the most effed up things that any character's done on the show. And, like, the internet, like, even flipped out, like, how horrible Nandor... When, and, like, you could tell, I think he's losing control of Guillermo, and his arc throughout this season is quite impressive, as he's trying to find love, and, you know, he is still trying to connect with his parent, like, his family, and bringing them into the fold here, and then them, Guillermo making some big, bold choices throughout this season, especially towards the end of the season, that's going to leave could be potentially game-changing for the whole entire show. Uh, Matt Berry really shines in this season in this father figure role for Laszlo. And his dynamic with Colin Robinson is absolutely fantastic. He gets he tried to make the most interesting man in the world. And Colin Robinson, the child version, just wants to sing and tap dance and play a bunch of intellectual games and stuff and Nadja opens up a club and they have some uh, they have some amazing cameos with the club part of it and it's such a fun time and like Nadja's trying to make things work in this club and show that she can be some kind of leader and be able to make things work it's really a fun time this season with her character and what she's doing in general, I think this season is another big win. It has a lot of great episodes. Uh, taking a look at some of the episodes, like I mentioned, like the Night Market was like a big episode that was a lot of fun. Uh, the private school situation when they were trying to get Colin Robinson into school and the twisted things they had to do to try to make that work and the fun cameo that they had in it. Um, Impractical Jokers fans. Uh, there's Nandor's Wedding, which was a lot of fun. The Pine Barons. They introduced the Jersey Devil, which hit close to home for me, being a Jersey boy. Absolutely hilarious how they portray it and make it look. Um, there's a fun return in the episode Go Flip Yourself. Um, and... You know, this particular character is a blast every time he keeps popping back up. And then the final episode, there's some legitimate emotional moments here that, like, 
nailed. And Matt Barry sells one of these moments so well because he has invested so much of his time and he's really fallen in love with when he was raising young Colin Robinson and where this last episode takes Colin Robinson and leaves Laszlo. It's sad. And you have Guillermo being so dejected by how horrible Nandor was to him in this season, really going back and making some bold choices and leaving some very interesting stories for us in the next season, which I cannot wait. This is just ended. Still cannot wait for another round. But What We Do in the Shadows is one of the best shows on television. Go check this show out if you haven't. If you haven't checked out the new season, definitely do it. There's plenty of laughs along the way. But those are my thoughts on Season 4 of What We Do in the Shadows. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.